In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. We have already seen few problems on the same topic and we know what is the meaning of a symmetric matrix and what is meant by a skew symmetric matrix. In this video, we are going to see a proof question related to the same. Let's read what the question has to say and let's get started with the proof. The question says that prove that every square matrix can be expressed. That means you will be given a square matrix and every square matrix you need to prove can be expressed as a sum of two matrices, one symmetric and the other matrix as skew symmetric. Let's write the heading as proof and then we'll be getting started with the proof actually. Since the question asks me to talk about a square matrix, I have to assume a matrix which is a square matrix. So I say let A be a, let A be a or any other name you can take be a square matrix. You can take A, B, C or P or anything. So I need to find out whether the square matrix can be expressed as the sum of two matrices, one being symmetric, other being skew symmetric. Let's see. So I said that let A be a square matrix. Now I have something A as the sum of one symmetric, one skew symmetric. I write half into A plus A transpose plus half into A minus A transpose. To be more sure about yes, these A's are different. Either you can take one as A dash, the other as A and if still you're confused, let's make it here also A dash. Basically, I'm speaking as something what I am telling you that I have been taking a matrix which is A dash. I took a matrix which is A dash and that was a square matrix according to me and that A dash or P or Q was the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. So basically it was the sum of these two. So now we will be taking one thing and then the other thing and then we will be proving that yes one factor is symmetric, one factor is symmetric and the other factor, the other factor that we are taking is skew symmetric that we need to show. Right? So what is the criterion? The criterion is that take the transpose of the first factor. What is the first factor? I write it here half into A plus A transpose and I will be taking the whole transpose. Why we are taking the transpose? Because we know that a matrix is symmetric if A transpose is equal to A. It is Q symmetric if A transpose is equal to minus A. So to check that we are basically taking the transpose. Now half will come out of the transpose since it is a constant quantity and I have here A transpose because this T goes inside to A it becomes A transpose and to the other factor what happens again this T goes inside. So it is A transpose whole transpose. What we are basically doing we are shifting the transpose inside. Now I know that half into A transpose does not change for me. But what is the formula of A transpose and then transpose? 2 times transpose means the same number, same matrix. So it is plus A. Now 2 plus 3 is same as 3 plus 2. Similarly, A transpose plus A is basically what? It is A plus A transpose only. Right? So we started with this factor half into A plus A transpose. We obtained the same factor half into A plus A transpose upon transpose. That means what? Even if you take the transpose of the matrix, you are going to get the same matrix. So this first factor is symmetric because symmetric matrix only means that A transpose is equal to A. When check that yes, my first factor is symmetric, I need to check whether the second factor is Q symmetric or not. Yes, it is Q symmetric when if A transpose is equal to minus A, let's see if this happens. So I am basically taking this second factor into consideration. Let's write the second factor half into A minus A transpose and I have to take the transpose of whole thing. So it is whole transpose. You remember we this, this, uh, did this thing here, taking the transpose, putting it inside, same thing we are going to follow, right? Now that means T will go to the inside brackets and half will come outside without transpose because it is a constant quantity. This T goes inside, it becomes A transpose. And this T goes inside again to this factor and it becomes A transpose, transpose. So it is A transpose, transpose. Now, 
half as it is a transpose as it is minus what is a transpose transpose what basically do you mean by a matrix and it transpose all over again so basically it means that you obtain back a so you're obtaining back a now if you take minus sign common which can be taken so it is like half wherein minus is common a minus a transpose what have we done we have basically taken the minus sign common it has come outside now you see you started with what you started with half a minus a transpose you got what half a minus a transpose but outside it is minus so if this factor the first factor the whole first factor we take as p the second whole factor we take as q and this was q equal to here it is p equal to that means what i have if the q is going on here it means that this is q transpose this is p transpose and q transpose has come out to be something like this right now out of this what is the actual substitution of half a minus a transpose half a minus a transpose you started as q so that means q transpose is basically what it is minus q this time i again repeat we were basically taking the transpose we found out that yes q is half a minus a transpose you write the value half a minus a transpose as q what is left behind minus is still left behind that means here you have q transpose is equal to minus q q transpose is equal to minus q here you have something called as same that means you started with p transpose you got same p so p transpose is equal to p p transpose is equal to p since this happened it was symmetric and since here you have something transpose is equal to minus of that matrix not the same matrix this is skew symmetric so that means what that means we started with a matrix and then we substituted some things and we came out to know that yes that square matrix or in fact every square matrix can be expressed as the sum of sum of because of plus sign one matrix which is symmetric and the other matrix which is skew symmetric